Since the announcement that this year's Winterfest in Bemidji has been canceled, some organizations have decided to continue their winter traditions anyway. Our Josh Peterson tells us which activities will still take place. With the scene set for some winter fun, some people have been left wondering which winter activities will still take place since the announcement that Bemidji's Winterfest was put on hiatus. With pond hockey and curling taking a break this year, some Winterfest staples will still take place, beginning with the Burr Bemidji Plunge. But we've got some participation from other groups who are still interested in doing something with us that day, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be a good thing. With the JCs continuing their frozen tradition, the Bemidji Parks and Recreation Department hope to do the same with the Frozen Ox 5K. Uh, the Blue Ox Marathon approached us just to let us know um, the Polar Challenge was not going to happen this year, and they really wanted to go forward with this event, um, but they needed some assistance. Mm -hmm. So Parks and Rec agreed to help the Blue Ox Marathon um, kind of co-coordinate. With the Burmidgey Plunge and the 5K still taking place, there will be some changes, beginning with location. While Winterfest held its festivities on Lake Bemidji's South Shore, the Burbage Plunge and the 5K will return to its roots and take place where the activities originally started near Paul Bunyan Park. We're going to be moving it back to the old location by Paul and Babe. I think that's a classic move for us. Same day registration will be held for both activities under the Rotary Pavilion, so it makes it easier for everyone to take part in both events. Our plan right now is to start and finish at Paul and Babe, so we'll use the Rotary Pavilion um, for registration and awards. With excitement beginning to build, both events hope to make a splash in 2018. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you're interested in taking part in either event, we have posted sign-up information on our website. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.